And then we have here another example. Now, as what you can remember, this example was previously um, dealt um, during my previous video. Okay, but in that video, we use shear and moment equation to draw the shear and moment diagram. But in this video, we will be using area method. No, to draw the shear and moment diagram. So the first thing we do here again is to compute for the reactions. We have reaction at A, that's R1, and reaction at C, that's R2. So we sum up moment at C is equal to zero, counterclockwise are positive. Then we have um, R1, that's negative R1, times the moment arm that is nine feet, correct? Then we have the triangular load, the rotation is clock, counterclockwise, so therefore that is positive. And then the resultant force is in triangular, that is 1 half times 270 times 6. And the location is 2 thirds from A, okay, or 2 thirds of the length of action, that is 2 thirds of 6. Okay, that's the location of our resultant or at the center of our triangle so we have plus one half times 270 times 6 since we are summing up moment from C then we have to compute this one this length here that is the moment arm from C that is since we have 9 as the length of our entire beam minus 2 third of 6 2 third of 6 here is equal to 4, so 9 minus 4, this is equal to 5. That is 5 meters from C. So times 5, okay, so that is equal to 0. So we have R1, that is equal to 450, the unit is pound. Then for R2, summation of forces vertical is equal to 0. Upward force are positive, then we have um, R1 plus R2 minus the resultant of the triangular load that is 1 half times 270 times 6 is equal to 0. R1 is 450, okay, plus R2 minus copy 1 half 270 times 6 is equal to 0. So we have our R2 that is equal to 360 pounds. So therefore, we have the reaction R1 that is 450 pounds and R2 we have 360 pounds okay so we can now draw the shear and moment diagram let's start at the leftmost leftmost point that is at point A and we know that at that point we have a 450 that is acting upward so we move or we jump upward from zero so let's start from zero so we move upward let's see at that point okay so we have 450 okay now we compute the moment at B so we know that our shear first shear is 450 pound let it be our shear 2 so to locate the moment at B we just need to have our shear 1 plus the area of our load diagram from A to B now our shear one here is 450 plus the area of the load diagram from A to B that is just one half times. Now take note that our 270 here is acting downward, so therefore that's negative 270 times the let that, that is six. So this gives us our shear at B that is equal to negative 360 pounds. So we have negative at point B so we have at this point let's say that is um, negative 360 now take note our diagram here that is in the first order so therefore our shear diagram should be in the second order so it should be curved however what should be the curvature of our shear diagram okay so again, this is in the first degree. So therefore, our shear diagram should be in the second degree. Now take note, for the load, we have our negative um, load here that is increasing. Okay, So this is the same in the sense that it is decreasing in the value. Since we have our negative 
um, load that is acting downward is increasing. So, it is the same as our value is decreasing. Okay? So, we have our diagram here that is frowning. Okay? So, again, if we have our diagram that is increasing, okay, this one is increasing, but in negative, since we have downward, downward magnitude, so therefore, we have our moment diagram that is frowning. But in this case that we have decreasing shear diagram, but again, our negative value is decreasing since it is acting downward. So therefore, we have smiling curvature. So therefore, we can say that um, the relationship of our load diagram and shear diagram is different from the relationship of our shear and moment diagram. Okay, so you just need to familiarize this rule, okay, rule of thumb. And then from B to C, again, we do not have load, okay, so therefore, our V3 here, that is equal to negative 360 pound. So we have a zero order diagram. Since again, we have no load from B to C. Now, up to, from this point, we know that we have a uh, upward reaction. So, therefore, our shear 4 here is equal to the initial shear, that is negative 360, then plus the reaction, okay, that is 360. So, therefore, we end at 0. So, we go up at this point. So, we have closed our shear diagram. So, therefore, we have correct um, answer. Okay, so again, you can check if your diagram is correct if it closes. Okay, if not, then you recheck your um, solution. Okay, you recheck from the reaction. You might um, compute the reactions incorrectly. Okay, so we are done with shear diagram. Now, let's proceed to the moment diagram. So again, let's start at the the leftmost point, no, at this point. So we have free end. Okay, so at point A, we do not have moment unless it is fixed. So we have um, start our moment one at zero. Now take note, we have the location of our zero shear at this point. This is our shear is zero. So we need to compute our moment at that point. So we need to have our moment at this point. It is just by... Our moment 2 is equal to the moment 1 plus the area of our shear diagram. Okay, so let's have to confer, compute first the area, this area. However, we need to determine first this value here, this x. Okay? And we cannot um, use triangle area for this one since, again, this is in second order. We can apply triangle when it is in the first order or that is in linear but in this case take note this is in second order or second degree so we need to apply the square property of parabola and that is we know that our parabola if if we have x squared is equal to 4ay that is we have our 4a is equal to x squared over y okay so this is the relationship in which our x here, or our horizontal distance, is should be in squared. Okay? So, how are we going to apply the square property of parabola to this one? I take note, this is parabola in which at this point, this is our apex. Okay? In which, that is, we have a zero load. Apex occurs when we have zero load. Okay? That is the maximum point in our parabola. If this is our parabola, this is the maximum point in which we have zero um, slope. Okay, again, at the apex point, we have zero slope at that point. So, how are we going to compute for x so that we can um, use or compute the area of this region? And the area of that region is equal to the area of a parabola that is two-third base height. If you remember your geometry, However, our base here, that is x, is a known. So, we have to compute first the value of x by using squared property of parabola. So, we can say that we have the height of our parabola, this one, is equal to 
450 over the x, this one, that says x squared, is equal to, now, the, the bigger parabola, so from this point, so this parabola here, so this entire parabola. Okay. So we have um, this small area over this area of the parabolic region, and that is equal to, we have the height, this height from 450 to this point, that is 450 plus 360. So we have 450 plus 360 over from this point up to point B, we have the total length that is 6 feet over 6 squared. So we have the value of x is equal to. So the same as with um, ratio proportion, but we just need to square the value of x. Okay? We have the value of x, 4.472 meters. So we have um, the length x here that is 4.472. So we now comp we can now compute the area of this shaded region that is we have our m2 is equal to our moment 1 that is 0 that's the initial moment plus the area of the shaded region that is 2 third base the base is 4.472 times the height that is 450 so our moment 2 that is equal to 1341.6 that is in pound Foot. So therefore, we have 1341.6, let's say at this point, okay? And take note, our diagram here is decreasing in the second degree, so therefore we have third degree, okay? Third degree curve in the moment diagram, but we have frowning curvature since we have decreasing shear diagram. Okay, so again, this is third degree curve. And this one is in 1341.6. And then after that, we can now um, compute or proceed to moment at point B. That is, we have, let's say, that is moment 3 is equal to the moment 2 plus the area of the shear diagram. This equals to our moment 2, that is 1341.6, that is positive. Okay? Then since this area here is negative, below the reference line it's negative area so therefore it's minus okay and then the area of this region now how are we going to compute this shaded region here so we just need to apply the basic of geometry to this one okay and then we need to isolate this region here from a to b this one we have from a to b since we know that the area of this region here is one is two third base times height, so therefore we are sure that the area of this region is one minus two third that is one third. Okay, so one minus two third that is one third base times height. Okay, so the area of this region, this entire region, is one third base times height. Now take note, I have drawn a rectangle here to enclose this region, okay? Now we know that this area here is 2 third BH. So our goal here again is to compute this region, okay? Since we need that so that we could have a moment at B, okay? So how are we going to compute this region here? Computing first the area of the rectangle, now we know that this one here is 6 feet correct and this height here is equal to 450 plus 360 that is 810 okay that's pound so the area of the rectangle that is 810 okay times 6 and then we minus this area that is minus so the area the, the formula for that area is 2 third base height correct and our base is 6 okay times the height that is 810 and then we deduct this area here 
again, what I did is we get the area of the rectangle, that's the total area, minus the area of this one. Then we should um, minus this area here so that the remaining would be this area of this region, this yellow shaded region. Okay, since this is our goal, okay, to compute this area. However, we uh, do not know how to compute this region, this purple region here. So to compute this purple region, okay, let's say this is our area, area P, okay, like for example. So our area P is basically equal to this rectangular region that is, we have 6 times this height, and this height is 450, then minus this shaded region, okay? And this shaded region here has an area of 2 thirds, so we have minus again this is the rectangular region okay this from this point okay this region here minus this um, shaded region that is two thirds times the height that is 450 then times the length we have um, this length here that is equal to we have already computed that one that's 4.472 meters so we have times 4.472 so we have our area of this area p this purple shaded region that is equal to 1358.4 so we have the area this area here that is 1358.4 okay so we deduct this area from the total area of this rectangle that is minus 1358.4 0.4. Okay, so therefore we have the area of this region, this yellow region, that is equal to 261.6. So we have now this area, the, this area here that is 261.6. Okay, so since um, we have already 1341.6 as our initial moment, so we have um, 1341.6 minus 2. 61.6 the area of the shear diagram okay in this region so we have the answer that is equal to 1080 pound foot so therefore we have at 1080 so at this point okay that is 1080 again since it is decreasing and in second order therefore we have third order moment diagram and it should be in the frowning curvature so now let's plot the moment at C. Let that be our moment 4. So our moment 4 is equal to moment 3 plus the area of the shear diagram. That is equal to our moment 3 is 1080 plus the area of the shear diagram. So, so we compute the area of this region in which that is only rectangle and then that is negative here negative shear so we have minus 360 okay times this one that is 3 feet it's 3 feet is equal to 0 so therefore we have closed our moment diagram okay that is at this point so we have correct solution to this problem but take note this is in 0 degree so therefore we have first degree moment diagram and this has been our shear diagram and moment diagram in which we have closed it and end it at zero moment and shear so therefore we have correct computation and that concludes um, our discussion on the shear and moment diagram using area method so if you have questions you can comment it down below and for more videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for listening.